I'm Ted at Windy Hill Farm and Handy Horseman YouTube channel. This is day two of our uh, working with a young colt, teaching it how to lead. So um, I want to invite you, if you haven't watched the prior videos on this, you should go back and start at the beginning. So uh, yesterday, <clears throat> our goal was to obtain relaxation, trust, and then we ended up the day with softness, okay? So now uh, the whole purpose of this video is to try to help everybody understand how to handle a young baby prior to weaning. This baby's about four months old. We're gonna leave it on the mother for another month or so or two, who knows how long. She'll tell us when she's ready to wean the baby probably. Um, <clears throat> but what we don't wanna do is in the old days, we would just wean the babies off the mother like we did the cows. You know, we just wean them one day, and then maybe the next day we'd get ropes on them and try to get them to lead, and it was a stressful time for the baby. So we're trying now to rethink this, to show a little more courtesy and maybe a little more kindness to the uh, horses. So last night, what we did is we brought the mother and baby, and I put them in a stall together. So a lot of times years ago, the first time the baby was ever in a stall was when he was alone. So, you know, so last night I let him stay with his mommy, you know, so they had a good night and there was plenty of hay in the box. And uh, so now when we wean him, what my plan is, is we're going to put him back in the stall. And then one day we're just going to lead the mother out and leave him in there. And uh, we were talking yesterday, another thing we might do is uh, Johnny has a mare that has a baby about the same age, and maybe what we'll do is put the two babies together to keep each other a little company. So a lot of the behavior that you see in older horses, like being uh, buddy sour or insecure, or just the, the problems people have like that, and I could list them all out as long as my arm, kind of starts right here. And so uh, I've been putting a lot of thought into this and what I wanted to do is try to take a different approach to help you all out there that watch these videos kind of solve this problem. And, and our goal is we're gonna end up with a nice horse, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start right where we left off yesterday. And I'm gonna put my halter on my baby and we're gonna lead, it. We're gonna lead him. See, so now yesterday, he wouldn't even let me put my arms around his neck and put that halter on. So see how soft and kind I was about all this? All right, now, you gotta have faith. I'm gonna do it again, okay? See there? A lot of times when you do something with a horse, if you repeat it, like if you got a horse that doesn't want to load, you get him on the trailer, you got to have faith, unload him and do it again. It'll be so much better if you do it that way. See here? So we're making friends with this little guy that, you know, his ex human exposure was very little. When he was young, my wife would go out in the field in the evenings and maybe pet on him a little and she imprinted him when he was a baby, but he still had some baggage. He was still a little concerned about things. So yesterday what we worked on is getting uh, flexion. I want him to yield the pressure, see there? So yesterday when we started out doing that, he reared up, wanted to strike at me. He was worried about all this, see there? All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna step over here, Nikki, and we're gonna walk out of the stall and we're gonna lead this baby following his mama, okay? We're not gonna let him get ahead of us and we're gonna lead him proper just like we expect him to do when he gets older, okay? Go ahead.
Coming through, Nathan. I want to keep, keep him at my shoulder. He's not to get ahead of me. And I correct him when he gets too far ahead of me. And we're just taking our time. We're not getting in a big hurry here. So this is a very valuable exercise. We're showing courtesy and politeness. And I say it over and over again, your horse will not be polite until you're first polite. So go right on in the wash rack, Brittany. I'm not pulling hard, I'm just being very light. I'm gonna let him look around, think a little bit. Okay. So see pressure, release. So it's not about the wash rack, it's just about teaching him to use his brain, okay? Come on in, Brittany. Come on in behind him there and bring mommy in. And Okay, so see there, a little bit of pressure and release. And you know what? Just let him stand in here. If he wants to nurse, I don't care. Pet him, Brittany. There you go. So see having the mother along to uh, help this little baby learn to use its mind and be confident. We're gonna have a nice horse when we get done here someday. Now, I said yesterday and I'll say it again today, if this was a mean old sour mare that didn't wanna come in here and step over that, I'd say you'd make a big mistake because that mare would teach that baby to act that way. So we're fortunate here today to have a nice horse as a mama. Okay, so let's go back down the alleyway. So now I'm gonna turn my baby, see here? So yesterday in the round pen, we got that all worked out. All right. I'm gonna try to keep him in at arm's length. Let's go right to the walker. So I'm just walking along like I'm going to town. I'm not making a big deal of nothing. So yesterday when we started, this baby wouldn't walk a step leading. Wanted to back up and rear and act stupid, afraid. Okay, right there, Brittany. Take the mother right over here and tie her. Uh, well, I gotta get another holder first. But, so what we're gonna do now is something that, uh, I'm gonna tie this baby to this chain that's hooked to the hot walker. And it's, it's overhead and it's it kind of flexible and it gives. Now I'm not gonna turn the walker on but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the mother right next to it and I'm gonna let the baby just stand here. It's gonna circle, might rear up a little, but rather than just tie it abruptly to something, I'm gonna do this. After I've obtained softness like this, see here? When I give it pressure, see how he yields? I'm, I would never tie this baby until I've accomplished that, okay? So my thought is, which I already know is gonna happen, is that when he feels the pressure from being tied, he'll give to it. That's our plan. So go ahead and pause, Nikki, and I'll go ahead and hook him up. Mm -hmm. 